Welcome back to The Morning Blend. Well, what if your doctor had the same problems as you? From symptoms to treatment, then he or she would know exactly what you're going through. That's what happened to ear, nose, and throat specialist, Dr. Muffin Kandula. He suffered from lifelong sinus infections until last year. Welcome back. Thank you. Good lifelong? to be here. Lifelong? I know, we've talked yeah. about this once before. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had them. Well, I had, I had, a variety, I had three issues. I, I had a stuffy nose chronically. I had sinus infections repetitively. And then I had headaches intermittently. This infections and headaches kind of were more since med school, basically. The congestion was since I, uh, my nose found its way to a metal uh, sledding saucer when I was oh, in first no. grade. So, <laughs> so anyway. you've been stuffy since the first grade. Uh, yeah, and I didn't know it because I, I mean, you know, you kind of remember first grade. I don't remember prior to that. And mm -hmm. I certainly know now the difference for you know all the years of dealing with you know nuisance interesting so, because yeah. part of the problem then is anatomical and mm -hmm. injury which a lot of people have especially if they play sports or sure. they're a little clumsy on a sled yep. just kidding um, <laughs> yeah. but the problem so you can have kind of a twofold problem yeah, going absolutely. on there well okay. it's, yeah it, it tends to create a domino effect I see this every day where you know you have one thing that creates you know just sort of shifts things off a little bit for me my nose got shifted internally which shifted up against the sinuses which made problems for drainage which made you know headaches sinus infections so forth and so on so do you ever do you ever think that that the reason you pursued this particular specialty is because of the the problems that you had. Yeah, I, I'm sure it is. I mean, you know, a lot of it's subconscious, but you know, you, you're interested in issues that pertain to you, and this certainly pertains to me. Yeah. What exactly did you have done? To so yourself? a year ago, pretty much to the day, a year ago, I had my septum straightened, so the middle line of my nose was put back in the midline. My turbinates, which are the humidifiers, shrunk down, so both of those things helped to just open up the breathing passages, and then my sinus openings were open, so endoscopic sinus surgery. Do you mind if we look at your CT? No. Scans? No, okay, because no, we have them. Um, this is from before um, and after Yeah, there, should, surgeries, be a, there right? should be a before and after. Okay, so yeah. tell us a little bit about the difference. And, and I don't know if it'll be clear to us. Mm -hmm. um, so you probably have to explain it to yeah. us. So this is before, and okay. all you have, just focus on black. Black is air. The more black you have in there, the better. Okay. And, and we're just looking at the inside of the nose. You see my eyes there. You see the black spots under my eyes. I there's, see lots of curly cues the, too. Yeah, coming those down. curly cues are the humidifiers. So those are the guys I said got shrunk down. The, the again, black is good. That means there's air, and there's it, it, just to make a long story short, it's tight breathing passage wise, tight sinus passageway wise. And we'll flip to. The post after. surgery. Okay, so this, post is, surgery. This, was, this is now a couple months after wow. surgery. I so think you so can clear. see that. Oh Anybody can see that. So you look down the middle. So my septum is now in the midline. My breathing passage is now wide open. You look to the sides, those black back spots under my eyes. You see the, the sinus openings are wide open now coming out of those sinuses. Do you which feel is better? There. Yeah, absolutely. Every single day. I mean, I, last year I talked about this a couple months after I had the surgery done. And at that point, I was really mainly just noticing, yeah, I can breathe better through my nose, which is great. And I sleep better. I, you know, and I don't take it for granted because I remember how miserable things used to be. In the year since surgery, you know, I've had, and I, you know, with what I do, I'm around colds all the time. So I get four to five, six colds a year previously, prior to surgery, every single one of those would have turned into infection. So oh. last year, for instance, six to seven rounds of antibiotics, 14 days, 21 days at a time. So you're just living on antibiotics. Since surgery, not a single, you know, nothing. I've had five colds, zero. No antibiotics, no nothing. Amazing. That's great. And then, um, and, and that's a big deal. So that's sort of an ongoing nuisance that you're not having to deal with, which is, you know, night and day difference. You would so. think a lot of sinus patients, and people with problems could really relate to you. Mm -hmm. Because you know exactly what they're, some yeah. doctors don't know exactly what you're going through, but you do. Well, I think so. I mean, it helps. It's not mandatory, but I certainly think it helps. I know what it's like to be dealing with the stuffy nose. I know what it's like to be dealing with, with sinus infections. I know what it's like to be on the back end of surgery um, and dealing with those issues that my patients deal with uh, when, when we go through those issues. So. Do you ever wish that you'd done that earlier? Um, I do and I don't. I mean, actually, you know, kind of, this is a missed, or a, it, I had surgery when I was in college mm -hmm. coming after some of these issues. So they, they tend to straighten my septum out and they attempted to do some things but it didn't really do the trick so this is 20 years ago now and so you know I'm glad I had surgery done in the era that I'm practicing in I'm glad I practice medicine in the era that I practice in because we can deliver a lot of things we can we have all sorts of different options low-key options we can do in the office mid-tier options full court press options, whatever the issue is, we tend to have an is a, a solution for that. those issues. And when the doctor has to be a patient, I bet you look for the same things you'd recommend to your family, <laughs> which is finding somebody yep. who does a lot of those procedures, yeah, whatever absolutely. it is you need. Volume, volume, experience, those things matter. I mean, doing, doing these things day in and day out, and that's what I look for when I, you know, I, I, I really look for somebody who is like-minded and really had empathy for folks who have these sorts of issues and want to del deliver care that uh, needs to be delivered. Mm -hmm. Something interesting that I want you to touch on is you think that a lot of migraine sufferers 
have sinus problems also? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know I know this, and the, it's a really tricky issue. So for me personally, I used to get migraine headaches maybe once every three months, and they're miserable, and they are debilitating, and it's just nothing good about it. I had a big spur on the inside of, my, inside of my nose, which is basically an area that's touching, so the septum pushed against the side of my nose, which is called a trigger point. So if many folks who have migraine headaches have trigger points in the nose that trigger their headaches, but if they've never had anybody look in their nose, you have, don't have any you know sense of that. I didn't know for sure whether straightening that septum out was going to make a difference headache-wise or not. Uh, it, it certainly couldn't hurt. If there was a 1% chance of it making a difference with those migraine headaches, then it was worth it for me. Again, a year since surgery, no migraine headaches at, at all. And the other thing I used to get was just sort of sinus headaches, just a nuisance, just between the eyes, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing, it's a different, the weight's been lifted. Um, you know, it's, it's just a night and day difference from a lot of different perspective, all quality of life issues, all massive major changes. It's incredible. I think it's important to um, point out, because I've asked you this before, that these surgeries are covered by medical insurance. Mm, sure. So another reason people should consider it and not wait and suffer any longer, and usually can be done on an outpatient basis now with very little downtime. Yep, absolutely. Which is great news for people who've been suffering, especially for a long time. You can find out more about how Advent can help by calling this phone number. It's 414-771-6780 or go to advent.md and they're located on North Mayfair Road in Wauwatosa. Good talking to you. Thanks. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, up next, forget the vows and the ring.